Hello guys, welcome back to another Match Week of Predictions for the Championship. Today I've got a few Match Week 9. Let's get straight into it. Just before we do, if you go on to enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Here we go. First up, it's Sheffield Wednesday hosting Sunderland. This is going to be a tricky game. I saw Sheffield Wednesday play Swansea last time out where we, of course, won 3-0. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, they were awful. Uh, there's no denying that uh, the fans aren't a fan of Zisco Munoz, the manager. They hate the owner. It's not going well at that club at the moment. You know, we want them to be in the championship, but not like this. Um, incredible support, as always, from them. At the weekend, taking on Sunderland, who lost to Cardiff last time out, but recently have had some good uh, results. The one against Southampton springs to mind. In this one, I'm back in Sunderland for a 4-0 away victory at Hillsborough. Next up, it's a big game at St Mary's, and at the start of the season, you would have looked out for this one. Southampton hosting Leeds. Tricky one to predict, because Southampton recently... Haven't been doing well at all. Leeds, however, they're on the rise. In this one, got to back the away side Leeds and going 2-0. Bristol City versus Stoke next. Now, Stoke, of course, it was a match to forget against Hull last time out. As for Bristol City, they've been doing very well recently. Of course, lost to Leicester last time out. Um, but the time before that, they beat Plymouth 4-1. And back in the hosts here for a 1-0 win at Ashton Gate. Moving on to Cardiff hosting Rotherham at the Cardiff City Stadium. Cardiff, uh, since the South Hills Derby win, they have been on a roll, I think it's fair to say. I think that's three or four wins in a row now for them. As for Rotherham, their opponents uh, for this match week, I've been sort of impressed with them. Of course, they got a point against High Flying Preston at the weekend. I think they'll get another point here. 1-1 at the Cardiff City Stadium. Moving on to Huddersfield hosting Ipswich, who have started the season very well for Huddersfield. Last time out on Monday, it was a dramatic equaliser in stoppage time to get a point against Coventry in Darren Moore's first game. Against an Ipswich side who have started the season very well um, and there's no signs of them slowing down on their incredible start. Uh, Got to back them. 2-0 to the Tractor Boys. Moving on now to Hull hosting Plymouth. Plymouth, of course, shocked everyone last week at the weekend. 6-2 win over Norwich. Hull, of course, beat Stoke 3-1. Uh, Stoke were very poor in that one, but Hull got the job done. They beat what was in front of them. In this one, I was going to sit on the fence for a draw. I'm not going to. 2-1 to Hull. This one could go either way. Moving on to the Den, it's Millwall hosting my team Swansea. Uh, we were quite good actually against Sheffield Wednesday. There's still definitely room for improvements, but Christian Pedersen at left back was sensational for me. Uh, Charlie Patino getting on the score sheet as well. Jamal Lowe pulling the strings. And uh, of course, Jerry Yates when he come on was incredible. Um, I do think we'll get the three points here. Millwall haven't started the season as well as they, as they would have hoped to. Back in Swans for a 2-1 win here away at the Den. Not an easy place to go, though. Moving on, we go to Norwich hosting Birmingham. Birmingham, a 0-0 draw last Friday against QPR. Um, very close to getting the win in the end, though. Overall, it ended a draw, of course. Uh, taking on Norwich, who have we just mentioned, got battered by Plymouth. In this one, no goals, 0-0 draw is the prediction. Moving on, we go to Deepdale and the visitors are West Bromwich Albion. In this one, it's hard to back against Preston at the moment. Uh, so well, I know they drop points against Rotherham, but against West Brom, very good and respected side, especially in the championship. I do think Preston will get the job done 2-1 at Deepdale. Seems to be a popular scoreline there at the moment. Back into London, it's QPR taking on Coventry. QPR... Of course, they got a 0-0 draw with Birmingham. Very good point for them. Against Coventry, who just haven't been at it so far this season. Dropping points again um, to Huddersfield last time out. In this one, though, I'm going to back them to get the three points in a 2-0 win. Um, but really, they need to start picking it up if they want to be in that playoff battle come at the end of the season. Watford versus Middlesbrough next. Middlesbrough got their first win of the new season, finally. Uh, that will take a little bit of pressure 
off Michael Carrick, who was uh, in line to probably be sacked if he didn't win this game against Watford this weekend. I haven't got him to win this one, but I don't think he's going to get sacked. 3-1 to Watford here. And the final game to predict is Blackburn against Leicester. Two Premier League winners in the Championship. The winner of this one, though, is hard to back against Leicester at the moment. They're doing so well. Top of the Championship, I think, now. 3-1 um, to them. Blackburn, we know they have the potential to be good. But i just not seeing it enough from them at the moment on a consistent basis. So I'm back in Leicester for the 3-1. Well then guys, hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, smash a like and subscribe. Comment your predictions in the comment section down below. Prediction League gets updated, as you know by now, after every match week on the Community tab.